Alright, it didn't show the opening bit, but it is showing the game. So hello everyone and welcome back to Kingdom New Lands. We're about to have daybreak here. Let's head over this way. No homeless people at the camp yet. Oh, I thought it was going to be daybreak. No, it's uh, passing into evening right now. quick Alex and I are talking about the idea of getting custom skins for our Star Wars characters for Jedi Academy Okay, shrug. I don't know what that technically means. In the, you're playing a Jedi Academy game? I don't know. I need one more. Don't know when the next one's gonna show up. Do you have both bows, right? I thought we had bows. Would you move, dude, so I can see the weapon rack? No, nope, I thought I did. Well, now I do. for the next guy. Come on, we're getting well to the afternoon now. You can show up any time. Kemi has custom character creation and making skins of our characters from the Star Wars we're playing game. Does that make sense? Okay. So you're going to be playing a Star Wars... Oh, wait. Mm. No, it still doesn't make sense. Are you, like, using the game to, like, make pictures of your characters or what now? Because I'm getting even more confused because now you're including our tabletop game. Like, start from the top and explain what it is you're trying to do. Because <laughs> it's like, okay, we're making customized things for the game. All right. Are you, like, playing the game? Are you just using it to make pictures for the tabletop game? I have... I don't know anymore. Making custom skins. <sighs> okay. Well, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> but, but all right. Making custom skins for Jedi Academy. Okay. Well, that 
took care of that. Oh, the money. some stuff. All right. Up my archers again. Okay, there's a portal right there. I thought there was something over here. I wasn't sure what it was. I still need to further explore both sides some more, and this is going to be the easiest way. Ooh, lots of cash. Thank you, guys. You are doing much better than last time I was playing. Glad to have the slow, the sl you guys being slow off stream and stuff on stream. All right, attack the portal. I need to find a better position for this group. I need a, uh, I need a defensible wall position right next to a uh, tower position to really help them out. All right, got another post here. Custom skins that are based on the Star Wars characters for the Star Wars role-playing game. For example, say I create a character in Jedi Academy, there would be an optional skin for Shola for character creation, stuff like that. Okay. So are you, again, are you guys just doing this for playing the game for a reason? Or are you guys doing this for, like, making uh, pictures for the tabletop game? I'm still not entirely sure what the purpose of this is, other than you're making skins for a game. For Jack Kimmy for playing for fun. Okay. Oh, here they come.
Sure, I show up just in time for them to have one without me seeing anything. Can't seem to be able to predict where the enemy's coming from anymore lately. It's like they randomly decide which side they're going to be on. They sometimes randomly decide, well, we'll, we'll spawn the special unit for destroying a portal on the same side, and sometimes they'll randomly say, let's do it on the other side instead. I, I can't seem to ever just get to see the fight anymore. Well, it looks like they were fine over here. Let's see what's going on over back this way. Let's see if I can find a dirt pot right next to a rock. I can actually put up the proper setup for defending a wall. With the big tower and the big wall and have a really nice defensive position. just ran out of steam. You're going to come this way. Don't want to lose my dog. Come on, dog. Just think it would be fun to Jedi duels and other to do Jedi duels and other shenanigans with characters based on our Star Wars characters. Okay. Clear this all out. I don't think there's a dispensable spot yet. At least not one I'm looking for. Let's go deeper. Oh, and there's the portal right there. Well, we can run past one portal at least. Oh god, there's two portals right on top of each other. Hermit cabin and a homeless tent structure and nothing else. Alright. Dog, we need to run. Uh, the deer needs a moment. Thank goodness it's early morning. Come on.
We can't get the perfect defensive position, but we can definitely make a decent one right here. That gets a little closer to the next area we want to get at. And uh, building this here will force the archers and the uh, knights to move up. Yeah, let's leave it at that for right now. We can finish upgrading after night is done. Turn that rift into a usable portal for myself again. Outside of getting to the Hermit, I don't think there's anything else over there, so we're not going to finish this side. I just want to be able to get to the Hermit and uh, find at least one spot where we can have a really good defensive position. how far the workers want to go. You say Portal and I think Mighty Max. Oh god, that's an old show. Alright, they're not getting any closer than this. Send the knights again? Close enough, I guess. And we can do this before night falls. Sure. Crush the enemy portal! Bunch of nut jobs. Now get running. Recently got Heroes 3 Might and Magic complete. Uh, it's fun. Hmm. Okay. I've been wondering about getting 5. It's on sale right now on GOG. I've on again and off again experienced the Heroes games. Some of them I really liked and some of them I absolutely found dreadful to try and play. 5 was the last one I really liked but I didn't have time to keep playing it. As a matter of fact, I think I stopped playing it after my old computer's uh, power source suddenly failed.
Try my best to get out here as quickly as possible. Holy cow. defenses with magical enchantments let's buy up a full assortment of archer arrows and let's get a couple of extra worker hammers just to make sure we have enough workers around patch up anything that might break Two more guys. We have the magic arrows for the archers. didn't get through five was okay story wise it felt like it was going to completely different direction from previous games which makes sense since it was the first one made by a different studio and three I've always enjoyed okay um, I think the big thing with five in particular is that the yeah, it was probably a new studio but there was also things that kind of threw a wrench into how they could uh, do things I think in part four so part five was them trying to bring things back around in particular I hear that the story of the orc campaign which was one of the add-ons was really good because it brought them back apparently they hadn't been around for a while or at least uh, the, one of the previous games they were suddenly missing and apparently the orc campaign was something that people liked a lot Right here. Here it is. This is exactly what I was looking for.
and Moriah Gold. I'm to all our archers. Here is one of them. Oh yeah, they're definitely not gonna come here. Um, could you not run out of steam just as I'm getting you somewhere? And trying to get there in a hurry. Oh, I guess we'll see if they have anything as they pass by. Guess not. That's enough to get things going again. They were part of three in the stronghold, guys. I'm not sure what that means. Still sounds like they were there in limited capacity. But being there, but at least being there is being not better than not being there at all, I guess. Stronghold Kingdom, okay. Money to send them on the next attack. And uh, run back to the portal and see if there's anything more on the other end here for money. you guys. Hunting all these animals and you don't even grab a single gold? Come on, dude.
The heck? Who did what dumb thing that got them to lose their stuff? Just in here? He's just in here. Let's see. Ah, dang it. I'm sure on gold. Alright, that should be enough gold to get him. This is an old teal guy. All right, sorry to bother you. Bye. Play mainly. Okay. Play mainly the Conflux Kingdom. Though broke my heart. They never brought them back. Hmm. but we need to get over here as quick as possible. Just, I've never played enough of the Heroes games to actually have a favorite kingdom. That's always been like a mishmash of generic different uh, fantasy groups for me. I think the one game, sadly, I played the most of was Heroes 1 for Game Boy, and they always just forced you to be the uh, human or the fae types.
Although you could uh, get kingdoms that allowed you uh, undead and orcs and stuff. That sinks, yeah. There's worse than that. I played the, I think it's the PlayStation 2 Heroes game, and they literally forced you only to be humans, and they always had you completely underpowered, and the game would just randomly throw you curveballs that would cripple your uh, groups, and you just could do nothing. I, I, Heroes for PlayStation 2 just really pissed me off to the point that I actually gave it a good couple years hiatus at this point. That was the last bear pill I needed. <laughs> At least the Game Boy game was playable, you know? <laughs> Saying that, by the way, that meant the Game Boy Color game, not just regular old green Game Boy. I'm finishing this off so we have a dispensable point on this side. We don't need the hermit that I found. As far as I'm concerned, we have everything we need from over there. Now we need to push the other side and uh, also, while we're pushing the other side, we can open up pushing the boat. Oh, the hermit's actually heading to my town. Okay. At least three gave you options to play campaigns for evil and uh, good guys. Hmm. That's what I thought it was the end. Okay. Boat's going. We got two uh, two workers about to be on it. We can get a third worker working on it yet, and four archers are going to come along and take uh, positions on it as well. And that's going to trudge along this way as our exit area is over here. And what I can do while it slowly makes its way is I can uh, start clearing things out. And that includes uh, breaking down more enemy portals to make them stop attacking. Nope. Not enough gold. trying to feed the enemy gold. Stop it. Oop. I saw that. means that if the enemies do spawn tonight, they are spawning crazy numbers. But I'm not seeing them show up right now, and I also just noticed that the saving thing is stuck in the corner. Alright, no attacks. 
Time to push. Though, did they make the orcs evil or kept them as a neutral party in five? It sounded to me like they kept them as a neutral. Kind of like they attacked the humans back because they were being assholes to them and kind of more or less left it as that. Like, they didn't want to completely wipe everybody out. They just wanted to find a new home and actually make themselves useful again, essentially. This is essentially a big redemption story to bring them back into the franchise. At least that's from what I was told. Hence why I'm interested. Yeah, it was on the other side. Oh, I just got tabbed out half a moment. Got to do this. There. Favorite was the complex guys who basically, uh, uh, basically elements that they, uh, who basically elementals, they are neutral. I told myself I would play five if they ever brought them back and didn't happen. Hmm. Okay. Oh wow, we lost a whole bunch of archers over here, apparently. Oh, I think we lost archers and workers. Shit. Bells in the castle sound like wedding bells to me. See, maybe there are warning bells, dude. They keep sounding off saying that things are peaceful or, uh, telling us that dawn is breaking and hence the spooks are supposed to go away.
I hear it. Nope, we're heading back. Alright, even if I fail this map, I've gotten an expansion. So something I should explain for any of the newbies, uh, since this is only the second time I've streamed on Twitch with this game. Every time you get one of those maps things, you unlock a new location on the islands. And if we go to our world map here, uh, when we're done here, uh, you see in the uh, top of this darkened island, there's a bear. That's a rideable mount if you find it. And if we get out of here, or even if we're defeated now, we still get to that map, and one of those three white spots will get a new location, which will be a new unlock for the game. Our first island, the little thing over here, that's the archer. Over here we got variants on horses. We got the mason upgrade that gives us the magical enchantments for the walls, and we unlocked dogs. Over here we unlocked the deer steed, which is my favorite so far at the moment. We also unlocked the farmer enchantment and the uh, first of the hermits. And down here we had a second hermit, which I think was the one that unlocks, uh, I'm trying to think, oh yeah, he unlocks the uh, uh, tower enchantment the enhancement that allows us to get third uh, group of knights and archers for uh, either side of our kingdom. And just as I, that's what I thought, uh, uh, no, 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 back, back button, you're gonna listen to the back button, uh, how about there, okay, and I am getting a message, ah, okay, lol, bear cavalry, I, can, I wish. Uh, the bear uh, is a lot more sluggish, or at least he tires out a lot faster. But the big benefit of him is that I can go hunting my, for myself with the bear. As well as he can knock out uh, the small enemy minions with one hit, if he happens to run at them. And it's only the normal small enemy minions. Okay, we're gonna let this play through. Hopefully the boat should be safe. And we can send our knights to rush the uh, portal in the morning. Nope, we're not going to have money for sending anybody anywhere in the morning. Shoot. I'm just trying to get people back into working. I've just spent all my money doing that. of you. What the hell? Did you literally just sit outside the wall like a bunch of morons? What the hell happened? Oh, never mind. It's the workers on the boat. They were being extremely stupid. Great.
I really did not expect the boat to travel this quickly. Now I'm just getting really annoyed. for that plan. I was hoping to make a couple extra gold on that. happened why oh because I sent you guys okay I did send you guys up ahead so the question is was that the last portal my worry is is that the answer is no Yar, some of the workers are swap me swapping the poop deck. I think they already are. Alright, yep, this side is completely clean of enemies. We are in the clear over here. That was actually a really clever plan. I did not expect it to work so well. Alright. Yar, the boat pushers be moving slower than slugs. Well, yeah, speaking of the bear, here he is right here. They survived on the other side. Cool. That means we're home free. We don't have to worry about being attacked from behind. I thought that's what it meant. Uh, apparently we still haven't cleared up. They might still be under attack. to come guys which is would either of you mind to hit anything oh my god oh nelly We need to run. We need to run like fast. And I need to chop all these trees as quickly as possible so I can make the money I need to get out of here.
Ye'll be getting what ye deserve for not defending the walls properly. Ye brainless brigands. Get your ass over here, worker. I need the trees gone. Now. I don't even care about the guards at this point. I need this done. None of ye be making the night watch. <laughs> This one too, you idiot. Yes, dog, I'm aware that they're still attacking. It's taking them a while because they have multiple walls. Oh, shit. Well, it's do or die time. Either we're gonna get out of here right now or we're doomed. Oh, shit. It's not even positioned yet. For crying out loud, you all screwed me over. We're all doomed until your own faults. Y'all are useless. Yes, run that direction, you idiots. Right towards the enemy. Because that's totally going to save you, is running right into their arms. Keep pushing. Oh, here they come. Done fucked up. Well, what's our new unlock? The armored horse. And with that, we go back to Beginner Island. Ye all be screwing the pooch. And now, because you screwed everything up, you be kissing the cat's arse. Yar. Next, we'll sail around the Isle of Wight until we get all dizzy.
I've done Beginner Island already, thank you. I kind of know where everything goes. Yar har all ye hail the pirate new pirate king. <laughs> Worker. Hey, there's the merchant. I've been told dinner is being purchased. What time are we looking at right now? Alright, we've been at this for about an hour and ten minutes. <laughs> we unwillingly failed the previous island. Again. We're gonna try and see if we actually have better luck this time in trying to get a group going before we hit that island. But we'll see. I think this uh, beginner island is small enough that only one side has a portal. Trying to have a look around to see what kind of setup we got going here. Not seen anything so far on either side. Uh, 
All right. We can at least get tier two walls. enough for uh yep two more guys so we can use two for two more workers but well, that's gonna have to be it for today thank you sir for joining me in the chat thank you everyone else watching on youtube and or twitch hope you enjoy this episode i will see you all again on some more kingdom new lands if i happen to have another free day open up sometime soon otherwise that's gonna be it for now and i'll catch you all tomorrow evening i should be finally free of everything by then for the weekend and I should be able to do our regularly posted Skyrim playthrough for an hour tomorrow night. That's it for now. Thank you all again for watching and I will see you all next time. Good night. <laughs>